In that example that I used tree shading and tree cooling, uh, the analysis results in order to drive my design decision. For instance, if I would like to place between these trees a building, how can the shade that the tree produces affect my building design? And how does it affect cooling of the facade of the building I would like to design? So again, I just refer these trees in Grasshopper and set, for instance, a day during the summer and I refer to it in my Grasshopper script. Um, you can see that these trees are in here. I'll also refer to that tree. Takes a little while, but these three objects are now in Grasshopper referenced, and also the insertion points of these three, which are these points down here, are should be in Grasshopper, right? This one we can move a bit. So you can see if I move my Rhino object, it also refers to the point and updates the point location in Grasshopper. And let's see what it does to my design like in the middle of here. Which is an example design of, um, of a building. And the analysis result shows you the effect of the tree, the position of the tree. Um, on the facade. So if I move this tree a little bit, like here. This would update also my cooling effect on the facade. Maybe here it's not so obvious. <laughs> Let's try um, these two guys here. So you get much cooler areas over here. So another possibility that we would have now with the logic that's already in the script, the logic of having trees close to my building facade to cool down the facade in the summer, we can introduce that in a process which is called generative design. And generative design uses multi-objective optimization methods. So I have different design objectives. For instance, I would like to have a lot of uh, maximized space uh, of my building in order to take advantage of the site that I have. I would like to minimize the sunlight that's received by the facade in order to have a facade that um, is cooling down the building. And at the same time, I need to minimize the distance of the surrounding trees, right? And if I set that up in with Wallacy, which is a multi-objective um, optimization engine within Grasshopper, it's also a free tool. Um, you can just generate different design outcomes. So hopefully that is fast. <laughs> Takes a while to compute. So it generates you as much design solutions for that plot, taking into account the vegetation around, the cooling effect, and also the idea that uh, the space is maximized. So this is another method how you can use these parametric models, these parametric tree models, in order to drive your design decisions in landscape architecture, but also in architecture design.